So it's a burger stuffed with truffle butter topped with foie gras. Exactly. Did you have people protesting out front? Uh, for a day. Then they came in and tried the burger and they re-examined their politics. Uh, I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Chris at Tureen, tell me a little bit more about what Tureen is. Tureen is a California brasserie. We're using a lot of classic French ideas, old school sauces, but we're kind of reinvigorating them. We've got some amazing pâtés and charcuterie, and then we're using, you know, kind of that great California produce that everyone's come to love. What I love when I come to this restaurant, it's just like hearty, great food, and that's what you've done with this dish, this insane burger that you guys serve. Thank you. What goes into this burger? I'm, I'm, I'm an In-N-Out lover, like it, like many people. So we've got In-N-Out onions, as we call them. So we dice our onions, we hit them on a hot griddle, still want the texture. I even want a little bit of the char that comes off of that. So like I said, we've got a nice grass-fed beef here. We do about seven ounces at the restaurant because it is a rich burger. I don't think we need to go like a full half pound. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking a ring mold here and I'm kind of creating a well in the inside so that I can take my truffle butter. So then you just kind of get it over the top and just seal that in like you would a Juicy Lucy. Like That's it. I want the truffle butter to melt flavor the inside of that, keep it really nice and moist. I don't want too much in there. You know, the beef is still the star. Yeah, and what was your blend on this? This is a 85-15 and 85 it's grass fed. Okay. Our onions are starting to look pretty great here. Yeah. You know? The impatient man's onions. Exactly. <laughs> Good amount of salt. You know, if, if it's under seasoned, then it, you're gonna kind of lose that kind of really beautiful beefiness. The porcini powder is gonna get attached to the surface. Slide it in. What made you think of putting the foie gras on it? You know, the idea was to kind of create a heightened, elevated burger and to kind of bring these luxury ingredients in order to elevate it, you know, one step further. It made sense to us. So, like, you have a burger this thick, but you also have the butter inside. How long per side do you want to do? Three minutes is probably going to be plenty. Okay. I'm just going to start piling on these onions. Perfect. Now I've got some beautiful truffle cheese. I'm going to throw it right on top of that. So while this is cooking, we're going to let it kind of start to melt, and then we'll finish it in our cheese melter when it's ready to come out. And we're going to pop this back into our cheese melter. At home, you could use an oven broiler. While we do that, I'm going to get my, my bun cut in half, and I want to put it right into the pan where the burger is, because I want it to toast where all those drippings are coming off of. We don't want any good fat to go to waste here. Exactly. We're going to take start with our sage aioli right on the bottom. It's literally lemon juice, garlic, grapeseed oil, and sage chopped into it. A couple pieces of our concentrated tomatoes, and we just took some tomatoes, salt and thyme, and put them in a 200 degree oven for about an hour and a half. Now I'm gonna take my frisee. While our burger cooked, we allowed it to kind of rest a little bit. We really wanted all that moisture to stay into our burger. We're gonna take our crispy shallots, and then of course, the money shot, putting that foie gras on it. It's pretty great. And as it is fashion at Turin, stab it right through the heart. Through the heart. It's funny the you mentioned heart. Burger. Heart attack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> let's eat this thing. All right, let's do it. So cheers. Cheers. It's messy, but there is so much flavor in this burger. You would think that it would taste or like feel super fatty considering all the fat we put into this. Yeah, but some of the, you know, the whole idea is balance. Healthy amounts of frisee to kind of, you know, temper that, give you fresh greens, brightness, crispness. So the porcini powder, or you're just yeah. getting that umami, that full mouth flavor, it's just kind of like hitting everything. Yeah, I mean, the idea with the food at Tureen is to be full of flavor, but not necessarily to be, you know, so, so much that you can't eat it. If you could serve this to one person, who would you want to serve this burger to? Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and say uh, President Obama. He's had a stressful time in office. He deserves to treat himself to something. He likes good food. <laughs> so, which will be a part of the sauce for the sticky rice. Let that simmer for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, depending. When it's right, the milk itself should be nice, saucy, thick, and the mango should be nice and soft. It's been about 20 minutes.